I get this comment a lot. We trade well for a while, count grows, and then all of a sudden we start losing big and it blows up our account. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a simple three-step process to help prevent this problem from occurring ever again. This is probably the most important thing you have to change in your trading if you wanna make it sustainable. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Spread Investing. My mission here is to show you how to trade options and invest correctly so that we can find the financial independence to do what we love and ultimately quit our jobs if we want to. Why do we have a habit of blowing up our accounts. The reason behind all of these big losses is actually psychological. It's because of our fear of realizing an actual loss. And so we tend to stay in trades, especially losing trades longer than we should. It's comment down in the comment section below if this has happened to you, but how many times have you sat in a trade hoping for the trade to reverse in your favor and ultimately it continues to go in the opposite direction, you lose more and more and more money. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of trades, whether it's selling options and buying options, or even investing in a stock. And I'm gonna show you guys at the end how to set up your trades correctly so you have proper loss management. So let's maybe start with the easiest one to understand when it comes to what I like to call fear of realizing losses. This is just obviously cherry picked, but if you take a look at Rivian, right? Rivian is a really good example. Let's assume you bought in an IPO at 130 a share. And throughout the lifetime of Rivian, it's lost around 90-ish percent of its total value. Right? And all the way down, you're thinking, when do I cut? Do I not cut? And there, I've known people where they just, to this day, is still holding Rivian, hoping that it will rebound because the whole time in your mind, you're probably thinking Rivian's a good stock. It's a good company. I love their cars or I like the way that the car looks. I can see the stock becoming again, maybe a 10 bagger, maybe going up to like $1,400. I don't know. So you hold and hold and hold and hold. And honestly, unfortunately, the stock right now is sitting down almost 90% of its total value at IPO. If you just invested in the S&P 500 over those, five, over those uh, three years or so, right? You would actually be up close to 82% on the S&P 500, you would have lost 90%. So which means that if you had cut your losses, let's assume right here, right where the blue line is in 2022 of January, and flipped it into an S&P 500 ETF like VU, you would actually be up and make back those losses and then sell. One of the biggest downsides of sitting in these losing investments or trades is the opportunity cost of potentially making more money is now tied up in a losing stock. Now let's hop over to Thinkorswim and talk a little bit about options. So again, on this channel, I like to use some of my real trades to demonstrate this principle. On Wednesday, I took a, I took a trade on an SPX 5505, 5500 credit spread around lunchtime. And you can see around the time I entered, the, the market has gone from a low to a high to maybe a higher low and it's on an upswing. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm just going to take a trade because I believe of one, the trend is bullish and two, it seems like the day is very, very strong. So I took a 5505, which is the low of the day, right? And 5,500 credit spread. So I got like 30 bucks for this for a five points, right? 6% ROI, very, very little. I sold right around here, around 1145. The market then subsequently decided to re reverse down into a 5510. Uh, and then ultimately I was saved. And so I went all the way down into this level. I think I was down like 300, 400%, right? Because I made 30 bucks on it. And so at this point, it's probably like 400, it would have cost me 400 bucks to close out or 300 bucks to close out. And ultimately the market saved me, right? And so sometimes you get these instances where it didn't break the support and decide to bounce back up. So lucky me, that's not the important thing. The important thing is what happens if this went all the way down, right? My, mass, my max loss at this point would have been 470 bucks per spread when I had the opportunity to make 30. So really poor loss management here because I didn't enclose a losing position because I had the belief that the market will continue to go up, which is honestly not the right way to trade. You guys can pause this video right here and think about all the times that this has happened to you. If you think about this, this is exactly why these big losses happen, right? I could have cut my loss at any point along this downswing, right? But I didn't because I didn't have good trade management, nor did I think about the trade setup. The same idea applies if I bought a call, right? If I bought a call here, it would have been even worse. But let's assume the call here was worth hypothetically $200 by buying in uh, at the money. The market then reversed and I held on to this $200 um, option. And at, at the end of the day, it would, have, it would have been worthless. So I would have lost 200 bucks on this one trade. I could have cut that option at any point in time and maybe saved myself 50 bucks to 100 bucks. Let's take my trade as an example. 
The first thing we have to understand, the simple process, is to understand how to enter this trade. I call it E. What my stop loss is, how, do, well, how much am I willing to risk on this trade, my maximum drawdown? And then my take profit. How am I going to exit this trade and how am I going to win? So E for entry, S for stop loss, and T for take profit, EST. Very simple three-step process for us to understand. On 1140, I decided to enter this trade, right? Because it broke this wedge structure. And again, this is why technical analysis is very important. If you guys want to start learning about technical analysis, make sure you guys click on this video link in the upper right-hand corner. So I entered this trade here and the market went up. So my entry here is very simple. Understanding market trend, which is up, I saw an area of resistance that became that could, that was broken. And then the condition of entry is that it broke and it ended and closed above area of resistance. What is my stop loss? So if I was trading this structure, how do I know that I want to exit this trade? So when I first entered this trade, my stop loss should be what I like to call one ATR below the candlestick. This candlestick right here, right? One ATR below that candle, it would be 55, 20. Let's just say right here. This will be when I would enter this trade. So you can see this in real time. I'll set alert here. Now the market went down, didn't touch it, so I'm good. It rebounded and it went up. So once the move happens, you would then want to move that stop loss up as the move happens. So here I would move that stop loss up to below this candlestick right here because now the move has gone up and I don't want to lose in this trade. And so as this market continues to go up, I would here, I would then move. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Right now it's here. This is my stop loss. Now as it moves up, I want to then move it to below this candlestick. One ATR below that candlestick, I'll move it up. Now it continues to go up. Can you go? I'm, I'm still chilling. I'm still chilling. It's coming down now, right? I'm still chilling. I'm still chilling, right? It hasn't broken this bottom support here. And now it's getting a little finicky. And boom, right when it breaks that, that's when I would exit. Because I was selling options, my take profit, I was aiming for full decay out, 0%, 100%, which would be 30 bucks. E, I have my entry. I have my S, my stop loss, which initially was down below entry and I continue to move it up to protect my earnings. That's stop loss. And then T, it is take profit, which for me would be zero. Now the same idea can be applied to buying that call option on this candlestick. This, this ent entry is exactly the same. The stop loss management will be exactly the same. And lastly, the take profit will be slightly different, right? Because for options, you would want to take profit. So let's zoom this out a little bit. I like to go to the 30 and this is on this, I, this is will be on this day. So if you see this, right, you can see that this is a high to a low, to a, to a potentially lower high. So this is an area of resistance right here, right? We can just create an alert here. If it goes above that, we'll, we'll say something. An area of resistance, right? And so for me, potentially, let's drop it down to one level lower right here. When I was trading here, my stop loss would have been here. So my stop loss would have been around 55.20, right? So I'm risking around 10 points to make around 20 points. So an R risk of one to two, right? I'm risking one, 10 points to make 20 points. So even if you were buying the SPX like index fund, that's, that's your trade, right? Whenever it hits an area of potential resistance, that is when I would want to sell out. When you enter this trade, you would look for your stop loss here and you would set your take profit. So when you buy an option, that would be the way that you trade it. The most important skill we have to learn as traders is that we have to be able to understand what our max loss should be. Think about how much money you're willing to lose, not how much money you can potentially make. Because if you can understand how much money you're willing to lose and you're okay with it, you would then be able to realize that loss. I can tell you for a fact that I even feel it sometimes when I'm trading with larger amounts of money, that absolute value of the money really drives me insane. If you guys want to see how much money you can actually make by taking a very simple stop loss strategy of never risking more than you can make, make sure you guys click on the video in the end screen right here. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It'll really help the channel out. You guys are doing me a huge favor. Again, thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Stay safe in the market. Until next time, peace.